The day has arrived for Mrs. Summers to have her baby. Mrs. Summers has decided in favor of CryoSave for the cryopreservation of the umbilical cord blood stem cells of her newborn baby. The parents-to-be already received the collection kit in the post some time ago. The isolation box should contain the following items. The PathoSeal plastic safety bag, the first gel pack for temperature control during transport, two sterile alcohol pads, sterile gauze swabs, and the sterile packed blood collection bag. Meanwhile, Mrs. Summers has had her baby. Immediately after the birth, before the placenta is delivered or detached, clamp the umbilical cord as close to the baby's abdomen as possible. Place a second clamp five centimeters away from the first clamp and cut the umbilical cord between the two clamps. The baby can now be taken away for further care. A sterile approach is mandatory. The blood bag is removed from its secondary package and is then removed from its primary package using sterile handling precautions. Remove the sterile gauze swabs from the package. First remove the debris and excess fluid from the collection area as close as possible to the cut end. Remove one of the sterile alcohol pads from its package and liberally disinfect the umbilical cord where the needle will be injected in the area which was cleaned with the gauze swab. Remove the cap from the sterile needle connected to the blood collection bag and insert the needle in the disinfected area. The blood should flow freely through the tube into the blood bag. If possible, fill the bag to its full capacity. The bag can contain 250 cc's or approximately 300 grams. Please ensure that a minimum of 80 cc's of blood is collected. If blood flow decreases or eventually stops, repeat the whole procedure using the sterile gauze swabs and a fresh alcohol pad. This time inserting the needle closer to the placenta. Please remember to shake the blood bag during the collection procedure. After the collection bag is filled and the collection procedure stopped, squeeze the remaining blood from the tube into the blood bag. Apply a clamp on the collection bag tube to prevent return flow and close it tightly. Once the clamp is in place and closed, put two knots in the tube to prevent leakage during transport. The tube may then be cut. Turn the blood bag around to ensure a good mix before preparing it for transportation. The blood bag should be put into the plastic safety bag. Follow the instructions printed on the safety bag. Place the blood bag into the transparent plastic safety bag. Peel the tape to expose the self-adhesive from the plastic safety bag and close the plastic safety bag tightly. The blood bag should be put in the isolation box. The isolation box should contain one gel pack placed on the bottom. The absorbing paper should be put directly on top of the gel pack. Now place the blood bag packed in the plastic safety bag on top of the absorbing paper. The second gel pack, kept at room temperature, should be put immediately on top of the blood bag. Close the isolation box with the lid. Thank you for choosing CryoSave to preserve your baby's umbilical cord blood stem cells.